I was 15 years of age when I first worked in a coal mine. All the roof was cracked and it was dripping ice cold water all the time. I would be absolutely soaking wet before I even started uh, digging anything. I was doing that six days a week and that was my life. I mean, the last thing I wanted was to work in a coal mine. It's dark down there and I needed a spotlight. I was made to be seen. And ladies and gentlemen, accompanied by Miss Linda from the Royal Forest of Dean, 222 pounds, exotic Adrian Street. He was ahead of his time. He was a singer. I guess he danced a little bit. He was a writer, a great talker. He was entertaining. He knew what he was doing. Adrian is a hell of a guy. Known as one of the toughest men ever in wrestling. Flamboyant, and he was just a fabulous, fabulously unique performer. A legend of world of sport, British wrestling, an icon. You know, influenced so many people and the whole glam rock thing. Being glam rock before glam rock even existed. He was fascinating to me because he was something totally new. Adrian was such a great performer, way ahead of his time. And a double tough bastard, man. I mean, very talented. He was a shooter, legit shooter. And he had a six foot valet who was his wife, Miss Linda. And she's a sweetheart. She really is. Linda was a sweetheart. I was a very good wrestler by this time, but I was a good wrestler in the land of great wrestlers. I needed to do something to stand out. Not only is he a flamboyant performer, but he's an amazing artist and he's one of those legendary figures in our business who can hurt you really bad, really quickly. So imagine what I could do to you. Imagine what I could do to you, written and sung by the exotic one, Adrian Street. I can be a tulip, I can be a man. The only way of knowing is to catch me if you can. You can suppose what you want to suppose, but I'm just a sweet transvestite with a broken nose. I could get all of your fingers. I could get all of your wrist. I could get all of your arm. And I could yawn while I was breaking it. And believe it or not, a bad guy wrestler helped bring some sunshine into a youngster's heart. 13-year-old Lisa Rush had been bedridden, and she had requested to meet her favorite wrestler and his valet, Miss Linda. They thought that she only had about 48 hours to live. And like almost like the 11th hour, Linda and I attended the uh, hospital. You're the first one to get one of these. It's the very first one. Uh, then we'll never take it off. No? <laughs> In the ring, Adrian Street is a bad man, but last night, he warmed the heart of a 13-year-old girl. He was a class act. She started getting better. They took her off some of her medication. They let her go home. Eventually, she took her ballet, and she was actually a little ballet dancer for a while. He's a classic wrestling personality in that he's unique. There's nobody else like him. And for whatever reason, my father didn't like me. It wasn't too long before I actually learned I didn't like him either. I ran away from home when I was uh, 16 years of age. I've, I've slept on park benches and everything like that. I had my first professional contact in August 1957 when I was still 16 years of age. When he was asked where he would like a photograph taken when his name became famous, he said, I'd like to go back to where I started off. And there he is showing what he managed to achieve. Imitation is supposed to be the best form of flattery. They look like two little ducks trying to imitate a swan. They may be pretty, but I am beautiful. I mean beautiful. And nobody is going to rain on my parade. Nobody is going to spoil my dream. My dream was to be the best professional wrestler that I could possibly be. And believe me, I was. I had 57 years as a professional wrestler. I've engaged in 15,000 professional contests, most of which I've won. I've been a world champion. I've held four world titles in three different weight divisions, and I'm very proud of my legacy.